Jennifer Mabus here. I wanted to do an initial gear review of this pack here, which I'll be taking on my through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. It is a custom made pack by Waymark Gear Company. It's 50 liters, uh, frameless, and it weighs about 36 ounces. So let's get started. So I have the pack fully loaded, uh, even with items that I'm not going to be taking on the trail, just so you can see how much you can actually fit into this pack. So to start, um, I asked for there to be straps on the bottom of the pack in case I ever wanted to carry something underneath the pack like one of these pads, which I'm not going to be bringing, but still you can see I can strap anything to it. See? Can easily take it off. And there we have that. The pack uh, also has two large side pockets, which I love. They're, they have like a slanted design so that they're super easy to access. Even when I have the pack on, I can reach behind, grab like my water bottle or whatever out. Uh, once again, to kind of show you what this thing can carry, here I put my jet boil. I will not be taking this on the PCT, but once again, just trying to show you what it all can hold. Um, I like to put things in the side pockets or the front pockets uh, that I want easily accessible. So that fit the whole jet boil with obviously my fuel and everything, and there was still some extra space in there. Ooh, forgot. Have a little first aid kit, you know, handy in the side um, pocket. So these are really big. Let me move this. These are really big, stretchy, and super heavy duty and durable so that um, I can keep pulling things in and out and I'm not gonna be worried about it tearing. The side of this pack also has multiple straps in case you wanna strap something to the side. If I have my trekking poles and I don't feel like using them, I usually stick them in my side here. This is another strap that you can put the poles through and then up here even uncinch that and then this will secure the trekking poles or anything else that you want to carry. So there's a lot of options for these pockets. Over here I'll show you. That carries a smart water bottle that I will be carrying because on the PCT because it fits with my water filter, my Sawyer water filter, I'm sure you've seen it, the squeeze bottles. So there's that. And then if you're feeling extra hungry, it even fits a very large hoagie. See that? Right here, all in this uh, pocket. See how much it stretches? Very heavy duty. And there's like an elastic band, so it, uh, I'm not worried about anything falling out. Once again, you have these side straps to accommodate um, anything that you wanna hold down. Next up, we have this front mesh pocket. As you can see, it's very stretchy, um, super durable. Um, in this, I'm probably gonna carry a lot of things you see here. If I have like a book or a journal, um, I have my water filter. I'll take this out. So this is like a, my water filter, my Sawyer squeeze filter that'll go with my smart water bottle. But this is in the front. Have uh, my down jacket in case um, you know I get cold. Probably put my rain jacket in here. If it just starts raining, I don't want to have to, you know, pull everything out from my pack. Just throw that all on the ground. Um, some camp shoes. So that once I'm done hiking or my feet are just killing me and I need a break, I have my camp shoes easily accessible. And then I can always strap my trail shoes to that side of my pack or shove them in the front pocket. Like I said, a book or a journal, you know, you know anything that you just want to put in the front pocket, it's up to you. Um, all right, so as you can see on the top, I have two adjustable straps that cinch down the pack.
This is also a roll type, roll top type pack. And right now I have it cinched or clipped on the sides like this just to make it um, as tight as uh, as tight as possible. But what's cool about roll tops is that if you want, you can actually roll it and give it to itself. Let's see what's in here. All right, so when you open it up, as you can see, um, there's Velcro in the top, so easily um, easy to close, and you can roll it, clip it, whatever. All right, let's see what kind of goodies I have in here. So I just have some clothing, uh, an extra layer on top, an extra layer on bottom, you know, some socks or whatever. Here I have my sleeping pad. This is my tent. And just to show you again, here is my uh, bear canister, which is required for some portions of the Pacific Crest Trail. And you know, I packed it with some food, so um, all my food will have to fit in here. I think it's a, what is it, a 450? Yeah, BV450 uh, model, in case anyone's trying to figure out um, if this will fit into their pack. I tried to fit it this way, and I don't know, it just was taking too much effort. So to do that day in, day out, a couple times, I don't know, I'm not interested in. So I put it in this way. And here shoved down at the bottom is my sleeping bag. And I had added um, a hydration sleeve I for my bladder. I really wanted this because I am not good at drinking water when I'm out on the trail. So I like to have an option for me to just keep hiking and then be able to drink as I go. So I had Mark, the owner, put in a hydration sleeve for me. Carries it will hold a three liter bladder. Uh, here it is. It's just a little pouch. And let me try to roll this down so you can see. It just clips onto the inside of the pack. If I decide I don't want, any, want it anymore, I can remove it. Um, some other options that you can add or not include in your pack is a hip belt. Now, I am usually not a fan of hip belts. Sometimes I don't even use it, but it is removable, again. And it comes with a lumbar pad. So it's heavy duty Velcro, but this does come completely off. So if you decide you don't want the hip belt anymore, you don't want that extra weight, you can completely remove it. Um, and that is an option that I liked. And I just wanted to keep just in case. I also added this hip belt pocket. Once again, I can remove it. Um, you don't need it, but I just really liked the idea of having this big pocket so I can put in my Sony A6300 camera fits completely comfortably in this pocket. It's very big and I want to keep, you know, snacks and just other various things, um, chapstick, uh, phone, sunglasses, anything. So I definitely wanted this just in case. Here we have the straps. I got them very bright orange, so you'll be able to see me out on the trails for sure. Uh, very, they're very cushiony. I love the fabric. A lot of different, you know, cords and straps so that you can clip things to it, adjust it however you need. I also added this little shoulder pocket. Right now I have my phone and chapstick in there. You can see it's pretty big. I have a, this is an iPhone 6. Uh, with extra room so right on my chest right here I can access anything once again you can put sunglasses anything um, so I just wanted all these options and talked about it earlier this is a frameless pack I was a bit worried at first about carrying a frameless pack especially 
on a big hike like this. I've never used a frameless pack for a through hike before, for any kind of backpacking. But I actually have really fallen in love with it because right now all of my backpacking packs have frames on them. And although it feels good on my back and I feel supported, I can't move my head I don't have a very good uh, range of motion, and I don't like that. The thought of wearing that every single day for 20 plus miles, five months, for five months or whatever, just seemed daunting to me. So this pack is so comfortable. I have such mobility in it, such a range of mobility. English is hard sometimes. Um, that I really, really enjoy it. This is just about everything I had packed in there and I still had some extra room. My final thoughts on my pack so far are very positive. As of right now, I don't have anything that I would like to change on it. I'm really excited about the frameless aspect. I'm really excited about the roll top. It is smaller than my normal backpacking packs and it's a couple of pounds lighter. So all of that gets a big thumbs up from me. Anyway, in the description below will be all the details for the Waymark Gear Company. So please go check them out. I think it's an awesome business. Mark, the owner, will do whatever he can to make sure that you get a fully custom pack. If you're into that, he's super helpful and he knows what he's talking about. And please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, especially because the PCT is coming up soon and I will be vlogging. Thank you so much for everybody's support and yeah, see you later. Bye guys. Hey!